It really sucks waking up to this. It is raining unbelievably hard right now. Drives all ready for the rain. All ready to tackle this rain. It's gonna be another tough day. About 100 kilometers of motorcycling today and the absolute torrential downpour. We all got our ponchos on. Boys are ready to go. Not looking very forward to this day. The problem is we can't wait it out because it's supposed to rain here for like the next two weeks. So we just gotta keep pushing north. Made it here to some random city. That was the most insane drive ever. Just poured rain on us the entire time. Trucks splashing us, like typhoon waves coming in. It was windy. It was absolutely insane. That was the craziest ride ever. Just happy to have 100 kilometers behind us and nice and warm and safe in my hotel room. Even though I showered and used a fresh towel and everything, I feel like I'm just always damp. It's just like, I feel like I cannot get dry. But this hotel room we found is pretty nice. We have two rooms like this with a double bed and a single bed. For both rooms, we're each paying $7 each, so it's a really good deal. But uh, it's a super weird hotel. It's huge. It goes like way up there. I can't really show you guys because it's still pouring rain out. But it's a massive hotel, completely empty. There's one girl at the, one young girl at the front desk. And it's just like weird vibes here, like it just feels abandoned, like it's actually right on the ocean and the waves are absolutely insane, but can't show you guys because it's pouring rain out there. How you doing, man? Good, man. Hold up. Hold up. We're about to get our first experience of a Vietnam hospital. Grab yeah. cut his arm pretty bad uh, back at the hotel. Luckily, this hospital was literally the building beside our hotel. Like Google Maps said it was 150 meters. It was literally right beside. So thank goodness for that. And uh, they're taking Travin right away. And gonna take a look at his bandage here. That's a good one actually, holy that is. Breathing is the worst. <laughs> Alright, they didn't let me film the last bit, but uh, Trav got five stitches. He's <laughs> all good to go. Uh, now we'll see how much it is. Well, Trav's budget's gonna be hurting after this one. Big $14 for five stitches. <laughs> I don't even think that's worth claiming. It was travel insurance, but he didn't even get a receipt, so you can't claim it. Huh, 14 bucks. Quick, easy fix. Get some polysporin. Good to go. Do some riding. All right, Trav, you gotta tell the people what happened. I was standing up here, hanging my backpack, <laughs> and I just got out of the shower, so I was kind of wet, and then I took one step down and I fell and I smoked around the edge of this glass oh. friggin' countertop. <laughs> Holy crap, eh? So, a review of the Vietnamese hospital. Uh, great location since it's right beside us. Way cheaper than in Canada, especially to foreigners. If a foreigner got five stitches in Canada, I can't even imagine how much that would cost. It was way faster service. We literally walked into the hospital room and they started stitching Travis up. It was probably a 15 minute experience. Great job, Vietnam. Well, we know there's a hospital near this hotel, but the real question is, is there gonna be food? Oh, mama. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
So that amazing soup did turn out to be a dollar fifty. I love all the spices they put in. My lips are so zinging, zing, zing, zing. And uh, I also got six of these little muffins for a dollar fifty as well. On that note, that's gonna be all for today. But make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. We're checking out some tunnels that were remnants of the Vietnam War. So that'll be pretty cool tomorrow. Hopefully the rain holds off. Like, live now on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.